beautiful people my name is Nemo and you're welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel you are so so welcome and if you're returning you're welcome too all right today is going to be the continuation of the last video i uploaded on senator shirt and trouser for kids okay today we'll be joining what we've caught on the other video together all right so if you've not watched that other video try and check it out and if you've not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing okay i upload videos twice or once a week and also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new video and also please give this video a thumbs up okay like this video it's kind of telling me nello dao gck well done, okay? There's this inner joy I drive knowing that someone is actually learning something from me. And if you're confused in any way, there's something you don't understand, you can as well ask me. Just leave it on the comment below and I'll clarify you on that, okay? And share with your student as well. Alright, see you in my next video. Have fun. Bye! Alright, we are going to be starting with the trouser making, okay? So... Right now, I have sewed the trouser from the waist down to crush, one inch before the crush, with a half inch, okay? I sew from the waist, leaving one inch before the crush, okay? So what I'm going to do now next is to fold in one and a half inch on the waist side, okay? Remember, we left three inches. We added three inches on the back trouser leg okay so i'm going to fold in one and a half inch and work that way creating the where the band i mean where the elastic is going to be okay and for the front i cut the pocket we're going to be attaching the pocket first so remember we notched our pocket areas on the other video so the pocket I'm going to be using um, the length is um I cut it nine by nine okay nine inches width nine inches depth okay so I'm going to place it right side to, to right side just the way I'm doing now then I'll sew down to where I notched okay I'll do the same on the other side too so right now I have fold in the one and a half inch for the waist band okay the elastic for the back trouser leg so and I've also sold the pocket I've attached the pocket to the trouser and what I'm going to do is to fold in that two inches we measured on the other video after sewing that I also notched it to give it so to have an um, Ease to work with okay so I fold in that two inches okay just the way I'm showing you that two inches I marked on the trouser leg I fold it in and I leave two inches on that pocket that I cut out the nine by nine inch okay then I'm going to stitch where I am securing with needle with pin now I'll stitch there and I'll also do a little stitch down there okay I'll do a little stitch where I'm holding now there just where I'm showing you I'll do a little stitch there and I'll come back so right now I have sewn the pocket okay I just stitch the up and the down that's where i showed you earlier and um i'm going to be doing it like the other one because i've also sewed the other leg so i'm going to pull it inside out okay i'll pull it inside out then i'm going to run it like so that way okay just to have a clean finishing inside i run it like so and then i'll turn it back inside out or outside in. <laughs> inside out or outside in whatever 
Okay, so just the way I did to the other one. As you can see, that one is neat. So I want to make it that way. So I'll be taking it to my sewing machine and then I'll run it that way. Okay, and then I'll be back. And I'll also join the two trouser legs together. Okay, I'll just run it from the waist down, leaving one inch again before the crush. Okay. All right, I have sewed the pocket as you can see. I've torn it inside out and then I left one inch on the crush area. So now we are going to be attaching the elastic. So to get the exact measurement for the elastic, remember we are only attaching it at the back side. So I minus three inches from half of his waist measurement. Okay, the waist measurement is 24 minus two divided by two is um is 12 so 12 minus 3 is 9 so i'm using 9 inches for the elastic okay okay i finished inserting the elastic i'm, I'm just i'll take it to my machine and run secure the elastic okay the two edge i'm going to run the two edges okay to secure the elastic so I have also attached band to the front part. Remember we cut three inches for our waistband to the front, for the front. And I've also used stay to hold it just to make it a little bit thick. So I use stay on it. So I'm going to place them right side to right side. I've also so secured the elastic on the back trouser leg. So I'm going to place it that way making sure that the stitches just the way what I'm showing you now they align together then I'll fold it that way and then run it from the waist down to the ankle okay now do the same on the other side okay just the way I'm doing it you stretch it and then make sure that that waistline where you sewed, where you folded the elastic and where you attached the band align with each other. You fold that way and run from waist down. Okay. So I have done that. I run it down. I'm going to be cutting out the excess. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew the waistband, the front band, so as to have a good finishing. I'll be folding in half an inch inward and then sew it. Okay. So I'll take it to the machine. And I'm going to sew it, fold it like so. The way I'm doing now I'll fold it like so and then I'll run it I'll run it from the inside that side that front side okay where I'm showing you now I'll run it in there it will be catching the inside band okay just fold it the way I'm doing now and then you run it make sure your stitches are not showing okay just run it from that inside where you sew the band the first time okay and after which I'm going to be folding the trouser like that way okay remember we left two inches for the folding so I'm going to be folding it and then I'll run the flap the inseam together I'll join the inseam together okay I've done that as you can see my stitches are not showing outside because I followed that inside okay all right 
so remember i i've also joined the folded my the leg of the trouser and i sew it down remember i asked you to left one inch on the crush area so we are going to fold it that way okay we fold it that way and then we'll sew it two times okay we're going to run it twice so that the trouser will not tear <laughs> so you run it twice even for adults make sure you're running that crush area twice Okay, so that is the final look of our trouser. Our trouser is ready. Okay, so as you can see, I've run the inside and it's aligned with each other. Okay. I run it twice in order for it not to tear. Maybe when the boy is running or something. <laughs> okay, remember to be running that crush area twice, even for adults, okay? All right, so we are going to go ahead and make our shirts, okay? So for the shirt, I'm going to be placing, placing the, yeah, the facing right side to wrong side. The facing is going to be right side while the um, panel is going to be wrong side okay the facing is right side i'll place it that way then i'll run the neck okay and then after that i'm going to notch the neck and turn it okay and then for the front remember we notched the front area okay because we're, it's going to be half we are going to be cutting it by a five inches okay so for the front i'll be placing it right side to right side the facing right side and the panel right side okay so i'm going to be marking five inches down remember we notched that center part on the other video i made okay we notched the center part so i'm going to measure it to see if it's five inch so i'm going to mark down to five inch okay so and i'm going to be running it from the shoulder down to the five inch just leaving like half inch inside there and then i'll take it down upward again and then run it all okay so just from the shoulder you sew it down go up again and then finish up the neckline okay make sure you're leaving like half an inch in the middle or like quarter inch so i am done sewing the back and i've also turned it sorry guys i didn't show you when i was notching the back because the paper brought lights i know in nigeria i don't usually have lights so i decided to utilize the light eh? and then i iron it immediately okay so i fold in half inch inward i'm going to be sewing that side later okay so for the front i have sewed it the way i showed you and right now i'm going to be cutting it and then i will notch and turn it okay just watch make sure you notch it very well so it will balance very well after you turn it okay so right now i'm done turning it and this is what we have okay so i'll also give that one a good press because there's still light i'll go and iron it so it will be neat So right now, we are going to be making our placket. This placket, remember, I cut 3 inches, okay? 3 inches width. And then I said it should be a little bit longer than the this thing. I made it 6 inches, okay? So 1 inch longer than where I cut. So I'm going to run it down that way. 
and then I also sew the uh, facing the back facing I will sew it that way the way I'm showing you and then I'll go back okay so now I have sew the facing okay and then I've also sew the blanket so what I'm going to be doing is to kind of open it and then not to turn it just open it and then flatten it make sure that where you sew is inside okay just the one i'm showing you is underneath it and then you iron it then i'm going to run one side down that way i'm going to sew it if you like you can do it like an arrow bow my own just flat like that so just straight so i'm going to run it straight okay then i'll be back So guys i have run it and i'm also trying to turn it okay so i'll use my scissors to turn it down and then i'll iron it as well so right now i have ironed it as you can see and i also fold in the rough edge inside where i did not sew you know i have to leave that side so i can turn it so i fold it in i'm going to run it that way on it now okay so i'll place it this way just place it like so and then you make sure the neck are aligned with each other okay let it not be longer than the neck or shorter lower than the neck just make sure they are together then you run it down okay run it down and then run it just run it straight down and then the other side then you take it up okay take it up where the slit ends you cross it okay cross through it okay just so there you place it making sure the neck align together okay And then you run it straight down from the other side down you cross sew it that way you take it up and then cross sew it again where the cutting end okay where the opening end cross sew it there but before then i'm going to sew that way okay i'll run that side because that's where it's going to be open Okay, so right now as you can see I've attached the pl placket very simple right so I also do a kind of um, X to it to give it a little style okay <laughs> so <laughs> right now I'm going to be joining the shoulders together okay make sure that the shoulders align together align with each other and then you run it that way okay let me do it again so that you see like on the other side just bring the shoulder put them together like so make sure that the shoulders align with each other you use one turn one and then use it to sew i don't know how i'm going to explain that just join them together turn it eh? the way i'm doing it now then you sew it just to have a clean finishing on the shoulder okay so right now i have done that okay As you can see it's neat okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the armhole together make sure they are equal and then i'm going to notch the center of it join it like so and then you get the midpoint as you can see i've notched there that is the midpoint of the uh, armhole and then as you can see i've attached one sleeve so i'm going to show you how i did the other one i folded the sleeve and then fold it into two okay 
then I notch the midpoint as well. So what I'm going to do now is to join the, the notched areas together where I notched on the sleeve and where I notched on the armhole. I'll join them together and then I'll join the sleeve, okay? And then I'll also shape the clothes, the shirt and also fold it, the down part. Alright, so this is the final look of our today's tutorial. Our shirt is ready. Okay, as you can see, I've shaped it, then also for the down part. All right, so leave a comment below telling me what you feel about this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. This is all we did today: the trouser, the shirt. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share. Thumbs up is the same thing as like. Just share with your family and friends. See you on my next video. Bye.